Hi, my name is Belinda Tatino, and I thought I'd show you a couple of yoga asanas that are really good for winding down. And if you're having trouble, you know, getting to sleep or getting yourself ready or in a routine to kind of shake off the day and to settle yourself into that mindset of, okay, now I'm resting and letting the day go. So I'm using a bolster and I've got an eye pillow as well. Of course, if you don't have a bolster at home, you can use a really big pillow or a folded up blanket, something quite substantial that you can fold up. Okay, so the first position or asana, restorative asana pose, is we'll come down onto our backs in a half bridge position. And then we're going to lift ourselves up and bring the bolster underneath our sacrum. Might take a little bit to get there, but once we land our weight on it, it should feel really nice and comfortable. Just here, walking your shoulders out, little tuck of your chin, so the back of your neck is long. And then we're going to bring our legs up and lengthen them up towards the roof. And keep them about hip width apart. Now you might need to adjust your upper body to get yourself nice and comfortable. You may even need to adjust your prop underneath you to get yourself nice and comfortable once you've got your legs up. And just letting yourself just be here. This might be a good time to use your eye pillow or if you don't have an eye pillow, a little scarf or even a t-shirt over your eyes. And just let gravity do the work here. An alternative to this, you might even want to put your legs up the wall. So sitting right up against the wall and sweeping your legs up the wall to be held by the wall. You can even do this on your, on your bed as well if you've got a bed head or if your bed's up against the wall as well. It's always good to do as much yoga in bed as possible. <sighs> You can stay here for as long as you like. And when you're ready to come down, I really invite you to really consciously start to bend your knees and feel the sensations in your body as you start to lower your legs, the soles of your feet down onto the mat. Really give yourself the time. Nice one. From here, coming up on your tippy toes, lifting your hips or pelvis up from the bolster and drop your one hip or one side of your hip to the bolster. So you walk, work your so way to one side. And then taking a hold of your top knee, taking yourself into this nice kind of twist here. And really letting your exhale just release any unnecessary tension in your body. You might need to shuffle. Just feel free to get yourself as comfortable as you can. And just let yourself in a, let yourself be in a position where your exhale is constantly just letting any unnecessary tension out in your body. Beautiful. And then slowly bringing yourself back to center. Lift your pelvis up. Shift your weight to one side and then pop your opposite hip down to take the twist on the other side. <sighs> Once again, you might need to walk yourself out. Just letting yourself just melt into this. Hmm. 
you got to make the sounds as well. And then bring yourself back to center. And you might want to just stretch your body out. Nice one. Bring yourself up off the bolster. Just help yourself just roll and shift that down. Moving on to the next pose, which will be another restorative pose into a restorative twist. This is my all-time go-to restorative pose. If you come to my classes and we do any restorative yoga, pretty much this is going to be in it. So you place the bolster or your prop, anything that you've got, your blanket out in front of you. And you sit one hip on the side of the bolster and let both of your knees face in the same direction. You then turn towards your bolster, place one hand on either side and gently start to walk yourself down. Now here you can change this up if you want a little bit stronger twist, your top knee. The more you bring it back, the more it'll bring it into a stronger twist. You can look the opposite way to increase this twist, or if it's too much, just looking the same direction. Really inviting yourself and your body just to be held by the bolster here. Really giving your weight. When you're holding poses like this, I highly encourage you to just scan the body to see if you're holding unnecessary tension, you might be furrowing your brow or clenching your jaw. And if you can, just bring the thought and your breath to those places just to ease any unnecessary tension. I highly encourage you to hold these poses for at least three to five minutes, but I won't do that with you. <laughs> when you get out of that, you press your palms into the mat to lift yourself up and to get to the other side, just turn to the back of your mat to get your opposite hip on the mat and then boom, you're straight there. Hmm. Just allowing yourself to melt once again into this. And yeah, I'm demoing these in my pajamas because I'm going to go straight to bed from this. And again, just letting any tension just melt away. We're trying to invite our bodies and our nervous system to get into our parasympathetic part of our nervous system. So that's the flight, that's the rest and digest part of our nervous system. We want to get out of the sympathetic part of our nervous system, which is the flight and fight mode, which is that heightened kind of feeling in our nervous system, ready to respond and react. So take as long as you need in these poses to feel into that rest and digest part just turn around and get out of that and I really hope so that was a bit of a funny way to sit and end this I really hope that this helps you get a little bit of a ritual for yourself if you're having any trouble sleeping I even encourage you if you wake up in the middle of the night and you're a little bit wired things are on your mind or waking up early in the morning 
to even just grab your pillow and you can do that twist early in the morning on your bed or during the night as I said to get yourself back into your breath back into your body and to hopefully maybe drift off for a little bit more sleep that maybe we really do need so I hope this helps feel free to share and subscribe if this is on YouTube um, or follow if it's on Instagram and thank you so much much love be well